My name is Kitty Tetra, and though I am very ill, I wanted to do a little bit of streaming today. First, I'm going to do a little tutorial on a favorite game called You Are Hope, because there's a lot of new members, and there's no tutorial on how to play the game. A lot of people think it's like one hour, one life, where in some ways, yes, other ways, no. So, we're going to get into it, because, for example, there's 18 members on right now, and it's only 7 in the morning. <laughs> and I've seen up to like 50, and that sounds like a low amount, but considering the average amount before was only like 30 something, <laughs> that's a big number. Um, and sometimes even 18 was just normal. So I made a, I bought a little private area, and. I have a home marker, but I'll kill it so I can show you guys how to do that. And we'll play for like an hour. Excuse the sniffling in my throat. So, just a heads up. So let's get into it. And I have some very random background music on. <laughs> because I thought it was cute. I hope it's royalty free. Oh no, I've seen a question mark. Is my game not working? Oh no, it's. I think it's working. I don't know. I'm a professional streamer. <laughs> but yeah. So I'm gonna start out as an Eve. Let me know if you guys can hear the game. So, very first thing when you're an Eve is you're gonna wanna find a place with water. Uh, because a lot of mistakes I see that newcomers are doing is they're making bases nowhere near water. In one hour, one life, sure, when you spawn, you kind of have to stay near that area because um, you get homesick, but that's not the case here. Uh, I also try to collect uh, milkweed on the way. And another mistake I see is people don't wait for milkweed to flower. So, well, seeds. So see how this is flowering? You tend to want to at least pick one when it's seeding, so if you do find a good home close by, you don't want to destroy all your resources. Main thing people do is they run out of resources, and then their village dies. And milkweed is important, so this is the seeding phase. It looks like there's a bunch of little, I don't know how to put it, like <laughs> little peanuts or something on it. Let your imagination go wild. But it's right after the flowers. And just, just put a lot of random ones down. You don't have to do it for all of them. Just some. But yeah, you want to you wanna try to bring some food home with you. So, I already made, like I said, I made a home marker. Because I, I could be walking for like 30 minutes to find a good spot. So... We'll just pretend that you're walking <laughs> for tutorial sake. Um, it still spawned me quite far away from it though. Uh, and the spot, the best spot you want to start with is uh, you want to be close to water. So I would say water and rabbits because the very first thing you want to make is a forge. I lost my string. Oh well, we'll get new ones. And the forge needs rabbits, and you kind of need water for a farm, so I'm gonna start out like that. I should have tested how I sound. Let me see if I could do that real quickly. Sorry guys, I don't know if it's if the stream's even working. <laughs> I'm actually streaming on a brand new uh I'm streaming on my phone. Usually I stream on my tablet. So let me just make sure it's working for you guys. Because to me, it doesn't seem like it's doing what it's supposed to. Because there's a lot of new men. No, it's it's working. I'm just going to assume that it's continuing what it should. Um, <laughs> I don't know. We'll put the music back on and hope for the best. How about that? All right, so this is my home. So say you finally found your water and you just walked by those rabbits and you're like, well, geez, this is perfect to start pooping babies out. So what you want to do is, you know, 
go grab a round rock hit it and make a sharp stone and then you want to look for a skewered usually they look like they have little leaves you want to cut it down put it in a spot where you want to start your base and then you're going to want to look for a round rock and just whack it and once you whack this thing boom you'll never be lost again at least not in this life <laughs> Another thing when you're new is just make sure that you eat, get used to the mechanics. And at this point, this is when you want to start working on your base. So with a curved stick, hit that with your sharp rock because you're going to want to make a fire starter. And that's going to have... You can also use your book. A lot of people don't realize the book is important. But if you hit your book, it actually starts helping you learn how to make stuff. So we're making a bow drill. So the next point it says is to find string. So two threads. So that's where the milkweed comes in. So there's a close milkweed. We're going to wait for it to flower. Uh, we're going to pick some food. So say if I was having a baby, you know, make sure you got some food around. You also want to uh, hit all your your sticks well, <laughs> I'll say hit because sticks will always regenerate and uh, for kindling I think it's called kindling and other weapons you're gonna wanna tools not weapons <laughs> you're gonna wanna make sure you got some kindling going and some things to work with so let's go find some milkweed there's one so we just need to let one bud because like I said, there it is, it's budding. So let's hit it before it goes away. Now that it's nice and seeded, we can put those on the ground for a farm later. Wink. So I don't think I have my chat set up, so I'm sorry if anyone's here. I'll scroll down. There we go. It's all set up now. La this was like very last second stream. <laughs> So boom, once you have your string, put it on the, the uh, curved stick that you hit with your rock. And from there, you, you can grab it, hit your book, and it goes, oh, get a short staff. And if you're new and you're like, how do I make that? Just click the little button. Click where the, uh, you see the short staff, and it'll tell you how to make it. So sharp stone plus long stick. So, and if you didn't know how to make the long stick, you can hit that, and it will show you that it comes from right here from a maple leaf so you hit that so it makes a long stick hit it again and it makes a short staff Pushki. now you got yourself your uh, fire drill you do not want to put a flint on it um, that's for way later on when you're trying to make like a cart but in order to make a fire you're going to also need a long sh uh, shaft so just hit that once and then you're also going to want to make a hatchet. So you're going to need to need more string, another sharp rock, and a short staff. It's also, uh, when you're starting out, it's probably best to make yourself a basket too. So with your sharp uh, rock, just head over to the swamp. And all you got to do in this game is you just got to hit two of these right here and combine them. It's a little different in the PC version. Uh, because I tried to do that and it didn't work. <laughs> Maybe it was with two weeds. Because you could do it with two weeds too. But it didn't work at the PC one. <laughs> Alright, so now we can look for more milkweed. So here's one. Stick it in my basket. And look, this one's seeding. So we might as well get some more seeds on the ground while we explore the world. Boink, boink. All right, head back to base. Woo! Well, that's okay. We need that later on, so <laughs> let's just remember we whacked it. Heading back to base now. So now we have everything to make a, um, a hatchet. So I'll try to line it all up to make it easier for you guys. So, you take your two threads you got from the milkweed and combine them. Take the short staff that you whacked twice by um, your, your sharp rock and combine those. So now you get this little thing. And when you click it, when you hold it, it'll tell you 
uh, sharp stone plus your tied short shaft is going to make your hatchet. So grab whatever sharp stone you want, combine it, and boom, you got yourself your hatchet. So it also lets you know what a hatchet does. So it makes kindling, which is nice. That's exactly what we need to start our fire. And fires are important for a lot of reasons. So we're going to put this here. Literally, fire is the life of your town for the most part, especially when you're starting out. I personally don't like to use my long sticks right there for my kindling, but if it's all I got, I'll use it. Because again, you're going to want to use it for other tools. Speaking of... We're going to save these because we're going to make a hoe, a beginner's hoe, and we're going to make two tongs for the forge, which will take our sharp stick, our sharp stick, I called it, our sharp rock, and we're going to turn all these into long shafts, long shaft, long shaft, long shaft, all of you. So when you hold this, see, it's not really going to tell you, but it does tell you how to make a, <laughs> how to turn your fire on, but that's okay. That's why I'm here. So we'll combine these to, you know, make some room. There we go. We don't need too many sticks for our fire, but let's grab a couple. Wink. And another thing about this game is uh, you can stack sticks together and carry them with you. The only ones you can't do that with is, uh, I forgot what they're called. I'll call them the light white sticks. <laughs> you can if you, these guys. You can't combine these ones in this version. You can on the PC, but the only way you can is if you hit it with a sharp rock and then you combine it that way a little silly but is what it is these i always like using for kindling because you mostly just use it for bows but we're not going to get to hunting this time around all right we should have enough kindling to survive for a little bit here yay look at that but yeah a lot of we're gonna need two more string to make our hoe and again when you're starting out you you kind of just you want to get this base set up so I always try to get at least one little hoe a one basket the oven and the forge prepped and if you're if you can't get all that done um, in your first life it, it's totally fine I mean when I first started out I was proud enough to survive to 60 because I ate berries. <laughs> but I've learned since I played... Um, I, I started playing in August, but I've learned you can't kill your resources. And that's what I'm seeing a lot of new members do. You definitely got to make sure you keep your resources. Or you're going to kill your whole town and yourself <laughs> of starvation. And if you don't have a horse, it just gets harder. So now we're going to, um, we're going to start, we're going to take our basket and we're going to start, um, collecting clay, a little cheat that I saw people doing when I first started. Um, cause your, your basket can only hold three things. Also don't kill your clay resources. So You'll know if your clay is empty, if it looks like this. No, uh, leave at least one because it will bring itself back. Uh, but just put two clays together and um, turn them into bowls. And then you can stick them in your basket. So you can hold up to six clay instead of three. So it's very handy. Also be careful of boars. They live in the swamp and they will murder you. <laughs> And we don't want to be murdered today. I try to at least make... Um, with the clay, you can make bowls and plates. It doesn't matter what kind of plate it looks like. As long as you carry it home. I try to make three of each. Uh, one big long plate to start out. And then three small bowls and three small plates. 
Also, to check your um, age, just highlight your character. Most of this game is about highlighting. A lot of people aren't used to the mechanics, but once you get used to highlighting your character or items, you'll see it, it turns green for a little bit. So I'm only 27, so I, I'm doing pretty good for starting out. So let's get all this together. Gotta get another round rock. Clay only works with some good old round rocks. So hit this, and it will turn back into clay. So make it go through its cycle. In order to make small plates and bowls, you just use one clay. So I'll put these to the side like this. So this will be good. Well, <laughs> also be careful if you if you put clay on top of a rock, it, it changes, and you don't want that. You want to put the rock on top of clay. Be careful of your uh, how your fingers are going in this game. Now nope, that's a beginner lesson right there. <laughs> I can't explain how many times I've. I feel like every time I'm an Eve, I do that at least once. Here, while I'm at it, I might as well bring some more clay. I also tried to uh, make a little... I don't really know what to call it, but... A place for my basket to rest, because the basket's rot in this version. I don't know if they do on the PC. I haven't played the PC one that much. I just started, and it's a lot different. So, there we go. Booshki. So now, we're going to have three bowls going. And then once we make our our forge will cook them up because right now they're wet you can't do anything with them and if you have an extra clay like this i'll show you what to do with that after all right let's get our basket we need some more clay and we also need a sharp rock to go with us this time because we need to start cutting down um these right here, not only are they good for baskets, but this is what you're going to need to build your oven and your forge. So you can see that it says you can hit it with a flint, a knife, or a sharp stone. I usually use a sharp stone. It's easiest thing to come across. So you just hit it, booshki, and leave it there for now, unless you, uh, you got some clay with you. Because it does disappear, but if you keep it on its little area, it lasts a tiny bit longer. So here's some more clay. So we're going to bring that with us. Clump it together like I did before with the rock. Put the rock in here. Okay, and then we're going to head back and grab that. Hello. Boink. Now... What you're gonna want to do to like turn this back so you're gonna take your bundle of reed and one clay and you're gonna put it together to make an adobe now as you can see it's already showing you when you hold your adobe it shows you the kin i, I call it the forge or the oven so you click in it tells you two adobe plus a rock will make your oven you go okay how about this oh that's weird it's confusing it's showing the oven plus adobe it just means you got to make another oven and then add another adobe to make your forge <laughs> that's all the book's a little confusing when you don't know how to play at first but once you know how to read it, it it's not too bad <laughs> okay so now we're going to grab... Do I still have my sharp stone in there? Okay, good. I can only see it for a second. Again, be careful of the boars. We're going to grab some more clay. We're going to do the same thing. Repeat. Turn it into whatever you... <laughs> oh, I guess it won't fit as the big one. So turn it into the second or the third... Uh, version of the plates or whatever here I'll keep the book open so you guys can uh, see what it's showing as it highlights maybe that will help too all right so now we'll we'll repeat we'll hit that you know what we'll make the Adobe right here I lied because the nice thing is you could carry the Adobe in your basket too so bring bring that along 
Let's see if we can find another one close by. No, so we're going to have to go a little south. That's okay. So we're going to bring this back to our base. And we're going to make our oven. That will be our first step. So I'm going to move the oven right here. There. <laughs> there. Why I move it there, I don't know. Actually, make sure there's a... Uh... No, there's not enough room. We're going to move it a little more north. You need a little more room with the forge in the oven, but you definitely don't want to start your stuff near trees and rocks. Because then it, it just gets in your way. Right, well. So now we have two clays right there, which is good. We'll make my one big plate that I like to make. Look at my age. I'm 33. I'm getting there, but again, I'm not making too bad a time. So this is your big plate. These do not exist in the PC version. Uh, but they're great because you can stack pies on them. <laughs> and I love stacking pies. Not gonna lie. Alright. So now that we have both of our adobe, you're gonna take your round rock. And again, if you're unsure, just highlight your adobe. And it says stone plot, um, arrow to adobe which just means whack it so there you go you got yourself your oven so that's for pies that will be in a different stream now we're gonna make our way to get more clay and more actually we'll use this clay there's a guy right here because now we need four more adobe to make a perfect forge so hopefully we can find four more of those things. The reed. Oh, and did you see that boar? So I have to be careful. Oh, I lost my basket in the process of... <laughs> this will happen to you too. Happens to the best of us. Yeah, I lost my basket. Well, that's on for... Oh, there it is. A nice thing is it highlights for us, so... Okay, and we're right next to clay. That's very convenient. So we might not even need to bring our sharp rock with us. So. One. Because again, we need, we need at least four. So we can bring three back with us. And then come back and hit one more reed. Oop, there's the boar. No, 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 no. You stay. You stay away, sir. Those things like to murder. <laughs> there, uh, if you accidentally run into a boar, you will die unless your village has bandages. And uh, they don't like aggressively follow you, but they're a pain because you will run into them regardless. They're not as uh, bad as the... Um, uh, bears. Bears will actually follow you. So, say you're making your forge because you're watching your book. And you're like, alright, I got my three. Let's do it. It doesn't work. And that's because, see how it says oven plus to make the forge? It means you have to make the oven first, like this. Whack. And now you can add the other adobe. Booshki. But your forge isn't done yet. As nice as that may look, you need one more adobe. Uh, which again, in the next tutorial will make sense. Because you need to block this hole in order to make coal. I think it probably will show coal somewhere in it. Maybe not. I thought it would. It doesn't. But that's okay. Oh, basket of coal. So you see where it says coal? So, adobe forge with charcoal. You see how it says seal adobe? You have to have an adobe to block the fire to make coal. But So, that's why you need another one. I'm not sure why I'm bringing my round rock with me. Because he's, he's my pet rock. <laughs> I'm going to name him Rocky. Alright, be careful of the boar. And I dropped my basket again. It's so easy to drop the basket. <laughs> It's because you get nervous. Alright, here we go. It's right here. 
we'll rush this get out of the way so that guy's not so angry we'll be out of your way piggy I don't know why my girl just took the longest way <laughs> oh my gosh just grab that lady she doesn't know she's, she's just here all right, nice. So we got all that. We might as well bring back the last clay, too. And our rock, if we have enough room. We don't. Okay. Apparently, I can't count. That's fine. <laughs> Happens to the best ones. And I dropped my basket again. This is called the tutorial of how to drop your basket. <laughs> all righty. So now we got our last adobe, which is great. Uh, you can't combine it, obviously, because it's the sealer. I like to put it in the back because, you know, it's out of your way and you need it for later. So now it comes to making your tongs. Oh, my book shut. So in order to make the tongs for your forge, you're like, well, heck, how do I do that? So if you click the bellows right here, because you need tongs to make a bellows. So see it says tongs. So you need a flint on a long shaft. So here we go, we got our shaft. So in order to get flint, we need a sharp stone. So grab a rock, or if you still have your sharp stone, I ran away and didn't grab mine. So, so what you do is you look for these little gray rocks right here. If you highlight it, it tells you it's flint chip. Just click it, boosh, you got yourself your flint. Then you go over here and you whack this. Pushki, you got yourself your tongs. You're gonna need at least two tongs, cause one for tongs to hit your blade. See, it says hot forge steel. Tongs are good to work with the forge, but you're also gonna need one for your bellows. I think that's what it's called. So bring your stuff over here. My lady's starting to get old. <laughs> She's 39. But we're we're still you know we're making pretty good time considering that I am I'm trying to uh, teach and work. I'm not doing too bad. And again, don't worry if you don't have all of this when you first start. It takes a while to get used to it, but I'm hoping this will help people because I know it would have definitely helped me if I've seen it. <laughs> It was hard for me to learn, but I started understanding the book, and there's some similarities to the PC version, but the difference is, is where you start getting thrown off, though. All right, I am turning into an old lady. <laughs> That's okay. We're going to bring all of this over here, and we're going to put some... Uh, so I'm kindling in the forge. Bring our last plate as well. And then what I want to do is uh, I don't have a, enough clay to save my basket. So I think what I'm going to do is try to also save my basket before I die. <laughs> So, let's go conveniently find two more pieces of clay. Ooh, and not die by a boar. I saw him run this way. Well, he's not there anymore, so. Cool lady, go. Cool lady, go. Okay, no clay that way. I used up all the clay there. We might have to just make another basket in the future. Oh, no, there's some clay. So we only need two more. So let's bring this back quickly. There we go. Bye, Sir Duckins. <laughs> that was nice knowing you. Okay. We're home. Um, and before we actually do uh, save my basket too 
we're gonna look for one more skewer so you at least want two skewers one for the homemade uh, marker the other one for uh cooking rabbits and also to smack a clay <laughs> to get a clay knob because you're gonna need it for the bellows so let's see if we can find one more skewer here we go so they're actually called saplings so <laughs> but then it becomes a skewer so see how your book is showing that you can make you can also make bread with it it's good to cook bread also good to apparently throw constantly on the floor because <laughs> my person does not want to hold it she just wants to yoink it ever. all right so to make the knob you gotta hit the clay this part was so confusing to me when i was learning so as you saw you use the skewer and you highlight your clay and you smack it once you do that your clay poops a little thing <laughs> that's your clay nozzle you need to also cook this in order to make your bellows so we're gonna put it right in the middle so now we got our forge pretty much all ready and this is also going to help your oven because you're gonna have your plate the only thing we're missing is a flat stone, which if my lady is not too old, we will go look for one. So now we're going to make our first fire. So in order to make a fire, you need a juniper tree. A lot of people, when they join new members, they join, say, people who have know how to play. They end up taking the axe and literally murdering all the trees. And I always try to run around and be like, don't kill the juniper. At least leave one juniper, one maple, or one, uh, whatever, that's a Lombardi. Because Lombardi and ju uh, maple will give you, um, leaves. I prefer keeping my maple, though, because your maples give you your long sticks to make the long shafts that make everything else. So you... Highlight your juniper and then you grab a juniper tinder. As you can see, your book's telling you that you can mold during it, which is basically just turning on fire. Place it on the ground. Grab a leaf from a maple or whatever. You can only get them from maples in these trees right here. You can't get them from any others. Like, you're not going to get a leaf from a... Uh, I think it's called a pine tree because pine's gonna give you something else you're gonna want to grab your long shaft too and you're gonna want to grab your fire starter and if you're too slow don't worry about it it takes a couple tries to uh you know get your fire going i think it took me like three attempts to actually <laughs> to get used to the controls enough to keep my fire from disappearing because I'd hit this and then I wasn't used to grabbing the leaf. But you just hit it, highlight your um your burning stick, and then highlight your your uh, juniper. Wait for it to have a little fire and then put a kindling. And there you go. There's your first fire. Now this is just a baby fire. Um in order to keep fires alive, we gotta cut down trees. But this is pretty good to start off. Oh wait. After you whack your clay, I forgot to tell you, put three clays together, grab a rock, and you're going to want to hit that, because in order to keep your uh, basket, you got to make a crock, because you can put your basket on top, because uh, your baskets will rot away, but for some reason, if you put them on a crock, they won't, so hey, so then you just bring that fire to the forge and you start cooking all of your little wet clay objects which are, I have quite a bit but let's see if we can get them all oops <laughs> well not if I do this we might miss one plate two plates or oh, we might do it no I grab no <laughs> Wow, we tried. We got one plate left. That's okay, because that's not bad. Because what we're going to do after we cook um, all of our stuff... I hear you, kitty. Bushki. So you see how your forge is burning? 
this is when you want to take your adobe and you're going to cover it because now you're making coal and coal is good when you find some iron so you can start forging but forging is going to be for another time but here we go so so far we're already starting out good i am 47 we are not quite done yet uh we are getting there for our beginners but we want to make the bellows so we gotta hurry up and we gotta go find a rabbit so we gotta make i'll be back for you fire it's it's gonna die <laughs> before i come back so what you're gonna want to do kitty she is so sad for some reason because I'm not petting her. <laughs> Poor kitty. So you're going to want to take a long stick. And in order to make a, uh, a bunny trap. Is you're going to want to get a sharp rock too. And that's our last round rock. So we don't want to destroy that. I'm pretty sure I have a sharp rock. Somewhere chilling up here. Which is not bad. Uh, here it is. Because we need more string too. Oh, you know what? We'll just make it all here. Because here's this. Ooshki. So, you're going to want to hit your uh, long stick three times. And you'll get this beautiful little thing right here called a stake. So, you see how it's showing you the snare? That's what we need for rabbits. So, next we need rope. So, once again, you got to get two milkweeds. And nice that they're seeding. Again, you don't need to put seeds every time. But you still want to have them around because you definitely need milkweed for everything. So combine this together, Bushki, you got yourself a snare. And now we could go find rabbits. I'm pretty sure if I remember my rabbits are east. Ooh, raspberries. You can plant these later, but we're, we're not going to live enough for a farm. We got everything basically ready if i can get a rabbit you need at least two rabbits but if i can get a rabbit before i die i'll do a little farm but i doubt it oh they're right next to us so when you are going after rabbits another mistake i see newbies doing is i see a rabbit and they go right away and hit it you don't want to hit a rabbit unless it's called a rabbit family hole. You see that little, small little brown thing next to the rabbit? That's a baby. Because what you're going to do is you're going to put your trap and you're going to kill the parent. And the baby's going to hide in the hole. So then when the baby grows up, it's there. But do not kill the adult baby rabbit without its baby. Because then the hole will be gone. And boom, there goes your resource. So, wait for baby rabbit, because you do not want to waste your resources. Again, Bushki. And right here, these are your carrots. These are important. Another mistake I see people doing is they're using their sharp rocks and not taking the seed off. Ra uh, carrots are important for animals, like horses, uh, sheep. Uh, there's a lot of reasons you want to keep it pies. So take your seeds off of them. All right, that should be enough rabbits. See how that rabbit does not have a baby? If you highlight it, it just says use rabbit hole. Do not, uh, do not kill it because you will no longer have rabbits coming out of that hole. So I'm glad that there was a rabbit to show you that. So now we are home. I am how old? 51. I have 9 minutes. <laughs> that might be enough time. So, you take your uh, flint, <coughs> excuse me, and just cut your rabbits because you're going to need these to make your, uh, I forget what it's called. It's like a water bottle, th like a water holder. You got to take your flit again and hit that one more time and highlight it. Um, and you see how it says empty water pouch? That is what we need to make your bellows, which we need that uh, one more. We need one more string. A lot of string. Like I said, this is why you do not want to kill all your milkweed right away 
which a lot of people unfortunately end up doing because they're like we can't make a bellows or we can't do this and this and this we're out of milkweed and then they have to travel super far or they just die (laughs) and you got no town and then I try to help but (laughs) even I get a little get a little like I don't know the word I can't (laughs) there's too many mouths to feed all right so we got our little our little string which we're going to need hopefully I can make a fire before I die and get this all working out because I gotta wait for the fire to die out too so we gotta we gotta rush this I I believe in myself though (laughs) go lady go all right she's gonna try she look at her she's like I'm gonna try turn that on click this so we just need a baby fire and then I gotta cook my rabbit go so this is your baby fire you gotta wait for that to die out for your rabbit so here's your rabbit so if you put it in a bowl you can make it into um pie but we're looking for cooked rabbit in order to do that you could click your cooked rabbit right here and you can actually that's right you can use your oven so there's two ways to do it you can hit it with the skewer so right here and wait for your fire to die out because see you could burn it if it's a fire but if it's hot coals you could cook it or you could cook it in your oven which i totally forgot that's a thing how old am i we're getting old (laughs) but we're getting there too Hurry, fire, hurry. We'll dance while we wait. (laughs) I could start making my, uh... No, okay, here we go. So here's your coals. Cook that good old rabbit, and you're going to want to eat him. Because what we need is his skeleton. So place him down. And you see how it it has this little little rabbit bone it pooped out when you picked it up again? You're going to want to hit that with your flint and it will become a bone needle. So now take your little rope thing, hit that, and now you got a needle with thread. From there, you hit your four little pieces and you got yourself your water pouch. Take your water pouch and your, your tongs, put your tongs on the ground and combine them. And you got the first... Uh, bellows without the nozzle but earlier we cooked the nozzle so you grab that little piece you put it there and boom you have yourself oh a complete a completed forge right there guys besides the uh, the flat rock which we're gonna work on you got everything you need so what I just did is I took the coals out of the forge because you need to put coals in a bowl in order to uh, cook your iron, but <laughs> my person's too old to show that. So I, I usually, when I'm, like I said, when I'm starting out, I try to get everything set up. So I took my coals out. We're going to cook this again. So when they come back, you know, my family, if I had one, they have everything they need. How old am I? 56 oof that's rough if i can find nearby dirt oh thank goodness so to make a little farm grab your basket and grab some dirt you're gonna want to place it on the ground next to your water which i don't know where that is (laughs) i hope it's not too far away i'm so old um here we go here's some nearby water put that on the ground we're gonna have enough time to maybe plant one milkweed right how old am i 56 still we might be able to plant more (laughs) you can hit this dirt right here with your hoe but i like to separate it because again it's all about your resources so try to keep your dirt because unlike unlike your clay your dirt doesn't regrow and the only other way to get more compost is manure and all that so hit this twice with your hoe to make uh some nice deep tilled um tilled rows i think it's called 
and I'm too old to get carrots because usually I will plant at least two milkweeds and one carrot or I'll do two uh, milkweeds and two carrots because you want one row of your carrots to seed and then the other one you could just use for whatever and then in order to water your farm grab a bowl and go over to your duck and water them. At the beginning, try not to empty your uh, water. So right here, your water will start deplenishing for your duck. And it will start looking more and more shallow. Your goal right now at the beginning, try not to do that. Because you want to keep your duck. You're going to need him for your, your forge. And it's good to have eggs. Eventually, you could get a lot of stones, though, and make a well, but again, at the beginning, your goal is to just try to have everything all set up. How old am I? I might be able... <laughs> this might be a reach, but we're going to try to get... Oops! We're going to try to get one. Oh, and wheat! You want to plant wheat for your um, family, especially if they live too far away. I forgot. I try to at least have two milkweeds, I remember now. Two milkweeds, two carrots, and one wheat. This time around, we only have one milk, two milkweeds, and a wheat. Wheat is good for pies, but my lady's too old to show you that. So, this is pretty good setup for a beginner. You know, we have our forge. We have everything we need except the flat rock. We have our oven. We have our hatchet. And we have basically all the other tools we need. Once I get old, I try to uh, clean up. Because that's another thing. If people come to your town and it's like filthy, some of them will stay. Others usually get overwhelmed and they end up dying. Because they just don't know where everything is. And it's all over the place. <laughs> and they just don't want to be there. So I'm missing a sharp rock because I, you know, I've been throwing everything everywhere. We'll put this over here. But yeah, we'll we'll clean up. Eventually, you want to have six bowls, six plates. Because you need at least four plates for pie. And it's good to at least have three bowls and three plates for foraging. So we made it to 60, guys. <laughs> I'm sure I didn't really explain things too great. But you know what? That's why I was also playing so i'm pretty sure that's a pretty good start for a tutorial and i hope you guys enjoyed it um i'm probably gonna stream some um some game boy advance now and see how that goes but thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys have a good night or day or morning whatever it is for you it's morning for me but thank you again